Match day 8 at Euro 2024 would see more action and excitement across three great matches between some very good teams. From Slovakia versus Ukraine, Poland versus Austria, and the Netherlands versus France, these games continue to deliver at what has already been a great tournament. Here's everything that happened today at Euro 2024. The first game of the day would see Slovakia take on Ukraine in Dusseldorf. The Slovakian attack would come out strong in the first few minutes and it wouldn't take long before they found their first goal. After a great cross from Lukas Haraslin to the far post, it would be Ivan Trans who would head the ball home for Slovakia, giving them a 1-0 lead in the 17th minute. The opening goal would bring some life to this Ukrainian side as they were finally getting some much needed momentum. After chances for both sides at both ends of the pitch, the score would remain 1-0 going into halftime. Ukraine looked like a rejuvenated side coming out of the break and only 9 minutes into the second half they would get their first goal at this tournament. Alexander Zinchenko would play a great ball to Mikola Shaparenko in the penalty area and without hesitation he would smash the ball into the bottom left corner bringing the game level at 1-1 in the 54th minute. Ukraine's grip on this match would tighten in the 80th minute as Roman Yaremchuk's beautiful first touch and shot on goal would sneak past Martin Dubravka giving Ukraine a critical 2-1 lead with minutes to go. That scoreline would last until the final whistle as Ukraine got the win in a very impressive showing. Ukraine now find themselves in second place in the wide open group E so keep an eye out on how this group plays out. The second match of the day would see Poland face off against Austria and Berlin. Austria would come flying out of the gates and their first goal would come just 9 minutes into this match. It would be Philip Moine who would deliver a great ball to Gernot Trauner and the Austrian defender had no problem heading the ball into the top left corner to give Austria a 1-0 lead. That goal would ignite a spark in the Polish side and their continued efforts would eventually lead to a goal of their own. After some messy play in the Austrian box, it would be Krzysztof Piontek who would slam his shot into the bottom right corner giving Poland a crucial goal that would bring the game level at 1-1. Both sides would get a few more chances before halftime but the game would remain level going into the break. The second half would see a tight contest between both sides and it would take 22 minutes into the new frame to see another goal. Some fantastic team play would lead to a beautiful pass that would find Christoph Baumgartner as the Austrian midfielder would slot it into the bottom right corner giving Austria a clinical 2-1 lead in the 66th minute. Austria would get another great chance just 11 minutes later as Marcel Sabitzer would be fouled in the Polish penalty area leading to an Austrian penalty kick. Marko Arnautovic would have no problem blasting a shot into the bottom right corner giving Austria a 3-1 lead in the 78th minute. That would be the decisive goal of this match as the game ended with a 3-1 win for Austria. Austria now have their first points on the board while Poland are more or less stuck at the bottom of this group going into the final match day. The final game of the day would see the Netherlands face off against France and Leipzig. The match would get off to a great start with Jeremy Frimpong coming ever so close to scoring the opener in the first minute after a great run. France would get a great chance of their own in the 13th minute but some miscommunication between Adrian Rabiot and Antoine Griezmann would lead to nothing but a goal kick. Both teams would play some great attacking football but neither side could find the back of the net and the game would go into halftime stuck at 0-0. The second half would start with attacking play from both sides and just when the deadlock was about to be broken, a questionable call would keep the game scoreless. After a great shot into the bottom right corner by Javi Simons in the 69th minute, it would take a lengthy VAR check to determine that Denzel Dumfries was in the way of French goalkeeper Mike Magnon and the goal would be disallowed. Whether or not the call should or shouldn't have counted, the game would finish level at 0-0 as we would get our first goal as draw of the tournament. The Netherlands find themselves at the top of Group D level on points with France going into their final match of the group stage. But what did you think of match day 8 at Euro 2024? Let me know in the comments below as well as your predictions for the rest of the tournament. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more football content, tier lists, and everything in between. And as always, I'll catch you next time.